Hello, and welcome back to the 10th and final round of Mini Kronk MTG's Mana Trader Series Qualifier Games. We are playing Neo Turns against Mono Red this round. And I remember I actually DC'd for like the first three and a half minutes. I like got back just in time to play. Uh, my opponent was really nice about it. <laughs> I, I thank them very much. Riley DK, you are a, a scholar among men. What do we got here? Um, we can shock otherworldly gaze. We are just looking for a creature here, and maybe a black green or black blue land. Eidolon, that's going to hurt. Um, Otherworld Decays in response, that's good, and let's ditch those cards. We're going to have to scheme next turn regardless. Um, there's a Blooming Marsh, so that's less pain. Exactly what we were looking forward to. We're going to scheme, take the two, no big deal. That is a Tasker, that's what we need. Put the pot of the Water Veil back. Next turn we can Shock, play Tasker, cast Neo Form. That is rough. He is coming at me. Coming in for a total of four here, so we're gonna go to six. So we're gonna go to four. No, we're going to five, fudge. All right, so we're gonna go to three off the shock here, and we're gonna go to one off of this Neo form, so we cannot whiff, cannot whiff. And we got a card instead of Boral Sundering. Let's get that Eidolon out of here. We cannot afford for an Eidolon. Plus, we need to scheme next turn. So the Carns was great, actually. We get to scheme. There's the part of the Water Veil. And now we are guaranteed to win this game. We're going to go to game number two. Leyline in hand. Mm, and we're on the draw here too, so hopefully we get a land here. Pathway? Pathway would be good. No nope, breeding pool. We'll shock at a breeding pool. That's fine. Pass the turn back. Get a real nice gaze here. Eidolon got a gaze in response again. Oh, boom. Just top top. No top top action. Exactly what we're looking for here. Still need to land though. That's gonna hurt. Though. That's where the damage is gonna come. We're gonna play this blooming marsh. We have the scheme going. Just need Tasker on top. We need to land too, but. I don't know if you're hoping for something different there, waiting. Should have left that one land on top. That pathway there would have been great. I do have a couple of turns, but really don't have that many. Really lighten up the stage here. Opponent doing everything he can to try to fight through this ley line. Tasker. Passing it back. Okay. I cast that other idol on, I'm guessing. In response to that, we're going to have to cast that other world to gaze. We did not do that. Nope, but we do the land anyway, so we're going to task her. Neoform, go down to five. <coughs> <coughs> you 
getting attacked. There's a part of the water veil, and that is game. His opponent is dead. They take six, go to four, and then it's our turn again, and they still don't have a flying creature to pretend. So we finished up here uh, seven and three. Um, we did not do a deck deck in one of the other rounds. I did it in the other video, so I'm just going to do it again here. Give me a second, sorry. Cool, here it is. I'm not sure how to zoom in on this, but we'll talk about it anyway. Uh, sideboard, three mystical teaching, or three mystical dispute, three so stern dismissal, two abrupt decay, two malevolent hermit, and four leyline of sanctity. I think there's one swan song in there also. That sounds right. Yeah. Uh, thinking about it, I didn't play any control matchups, so that's actually a big change. Um, I would take out one Invoke Calamity and put in the fourth Scheming or fourth Contingency Plan. I would rather have eight of those and the other World of Gaze. Um, I might like Opt better than Consider, honestly. Um, the Opt, I can at least put the card to the bottom. Putting the card to the graveyard sometimes isn't exactly what you want, especially when that card is Velimachus. Um, it didn't have any this time, but like consider puts you in this spot where you either bend the card, but you can, like you need the card, but you can't physically draw the card. And putting it into the graveyard is there's a point where it's not good, but putting it back into the deck where you can get it again. Uh, makes it completely more reliable um, but that's supposed to be why we play the invoke calamity but you can um, all those times I only hit the invoke calamity once in or twice in 10 rounds so uh, we went to game quite a few times I'm going to be going back through and doing my percentages and seeing how often I won on turn 3 or how often it was um, I'm thinking I might play this in the series Swiss next weekend, but other than that, I like the deck. Uh, I think control matchup is going to be weird. I would, I think, you also need some way to get rid of a Graph Digger's Cage. Otherwise, you just become a beatdown deck, like a, a mid-range beatdown deck with no removal, <laughs> and that just doesn't sound good at all in any way, shape, or form. Um, there was also a black card people were talking about. I can't remember what it was. Uh, it was supposed to help deal with Winota. If you know what it is, uh, please leave in the comments. Um, other than that, this is Mini Kronk. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this content, let me know. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching.